as a recent toy reveal showcased a new mode for Halo Infinite, possibly as well as a fan favorite vehicle has been confirmed officially to be in Halo Infinite, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So it's another day, another kind of leak type of reveal in Halo Infinite as obviously there's promotional material still going on for Halo Infinite and obviously the game is still delayed and they're trying to correlate those properly but sometimes things just come out already and it looks like we already had some confirmations about a fan favorite vehicle as well as possibly a new mode or some kind of odd verbiage that Mega Constructs used in here. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos and you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe let's get right into the content here so let's start with the one that kind of started up a little bit of buzz where even the community director of 343 actually responded to this one as well from a, another community member so i thought it was kind of worth discussing bringing this up to your attention as well guys i'm actually kind of confused of what this is really showcasing but apparently it's something halo related but nothing that i could recognize and i've played every halo 2 to the point where i'm just like i feel like i know everything but apparently i don't because according to this mega constructs tweet that came out right here. Talking about the mode escape as like a fan favorite mode of some sorts. So basically, let's break it down here. So they tweeted out saying you can make a daring escape, emphasis on escape with the capital E by the way, inspired by the fan favorite multiplayer game mode. This set features a Spartan Anubis and Spartan Hermes, a barrier and an extraction site. Gear up, Spartans, and get in the game. Here's a better look at the image of what we're talking about here. So you're saying the Anubis Spartan right here and the Hermes Spartan right there. And it looks like an extraction site of some sorts, but then they talk about escape in capital E. So they're like, kind of going like, make a daring escape, right? Kind of like doing like a little winky face kind of thing, pointing at like, hey, this is kind of like a reference to a game mode, but I don't really think there's ever been an official game mode named escape in Halo's franchise history. So it's a little confusing. I'm assuming they're talking about extraction right here, which is a Halo 4 game mode. But when I actually looked into the gameplay of Halo 4, extraction you can see right here the still image that there is like no structure or anything like that like there is in that mega constructs reveal and you can kind of see where he walks up you just place the bomb right there which kind of looks like the device that was sitting there but then it's just like a ball i mean it's kind of i guess like extraction reference but it doesn't really why would they capitalize escape when you're talking about extraction it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me to be honest even Halo Cannon, a prominent member within the community, you guys better go sub the Halo Cannon, excellent lore channel for Halo. To so escape a new game mode, because otherwise I'm not sure what they're referencing, because I'm kind of in the same boat as well, I'm not exactly sure what they're talking about. And the community director, Sketch, even replied to this tweet saying, I got nothing. As in, Sketch is probably even like, I don't even know what they're talking about either. But a member of the community actually replied to this tweet saying, it's a universe set, not an infinite set. So nothing to do with the new game. As far as the naming goes, it's inspired by the classic multiplayer mode. The name of the toy is Escape, but it's not the name of the mode, which I guess is some kind of clarification right there, which is interesting. But when I go to Mega Constructs website, Site. This is what you see right here and you see that there's just regular sets right here And then you see like these helmet sets we have skull control, which I don't know what that is I guess maybe a version of like headhunter of some sort They have one that's called capture the flag which obviously capture the flag and they have last Spartan standing Which is kind of play off of like last stand or zombies or infection if you will So it's clearly obvious what they're referencing there each one of these sets clearly represents some kind of objective within the game Obviously, this is zombies. You can obviously see the flag called capture the flag skull control is probably a reference to headhunter i can kind of see that happening so maybe it's called escape but it doesn't really necessarily maybe it references extraction though you don't really escape in extraction at all and i don't see it on the web page at all right here so uh, kind of an odd choice of words and presentation for this new toy piece. Myself and others even talked about these red tendril kind of looking things as possible flood outbreaks. Even someone here in the comments says flood by a question mark. And this could possibly be, but I'd be really surprised if they would leak the return of the flood in Halo Infinite through toys. But, you know, hey, sometimes weird things happen. So really, I just want to point this out to you guys that this is something that people are talking about. I'm actually kind of confused on the whole situation. If you guys know what they're talking about, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think that person who replied on Twitter knows what they're talking about? 
Uh, just, it's just really odd that they would showcase this, but then not have it on their website for purchase. I don't, I don't know. It just it doesn't make sense to me. This next part also confirms a fan favorite vehicle coming back within Halo Infinite. This one was kind of a given, but it never was officially confirmed, right? But I want to showcase you this story arc of how we got to this point, right? So if we take a look at this image from the April update from Halo Infinite, the inside, most recent Inside Infinite about PC. Great Vista here. It looks amazing. But then down below at the bottom of this image, look at that little thing right there. Everyone was kind of looking at this, looking at this. I initially thought it was a shade turret, but then people were actually pointed out saying, oh, it's a brute chopper. And we've seen some mega construct stuff previously that looks like brute chopper stuff. So I'd be like, okay, that makes sense. It roughly looks like a brute chopper in some form of this little pixelated image. But the recent mega constructs announcement certifies that this is a brute chopper and possibly a member of blue team coming back. Mega constructs posted this image with the saying modeled after the appearance in Halo Infinite. This brute chopper features a huge front wheel that you can both spin and twist. The set also includes two micro action figures, Spartan Frederick 104 and Escherum and a turret that really fires. Take that chopper down. I know a lot of people already talked about the brute chopper coming back and that previous image did kind of like essentially confirm it but it was so blurry it's hard to really tell if it really was something like the brute chopper because oh it could have been a new vehicle we've never seen before but it says modeled after the appearance in halo infinite meaning the brute chopper is coming back in halo infinite and the cool thing is you have frederick right there shooting against eshram that's really interesting will we see this in game I mean, it's possible, but also you gotta keep in mind that with these Mega Construct toys, that not everything you see is gonna be in the game. Essentially meaning that they could possibly throw together some kind of situations within universe would be really cool to have happen, but it doesn't necessarily mean that this actually will happen. Is Blue Team confirmed for Halo Infinite? No. Is Blue Team a possibility for Halo Infinite? Absolutely, as they are part of the Shadows of Reach story arc, so they're definitely within the play of characters that can be part of this universe and maybe eventually brought in for Halo Infinite story, but I would actually would like to see maybe with Infinite story to really focus on Master Chief as they said previously and have him really be like the only Spartan to bring back those combat evolved feels that we all know that 343 is actually pulling a lot of influence from. I know a little light on the news today guys, but not a whole lot's been happening with Halo for the last few days besides the flight but that was pretty quick and up to date as well but we do have a new inside infinite update that should be coming out this thursday as well i guarantee i will be covering it all over it on this channel we're gonna be talking about halo waypoint within that update so i'm really looking forward to that as well so if you guys like these news and informational videos or missed any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right here got a link to all my news and informational videos so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out